I feel oh. like we all had our strength or crush, you know? Listen, I don't hate men, but sometimes I'm like, why do they need me to say that to them so bad? I don't want to say trendy, but kind of like, oh, you know, you see the two straight girls kissing in the club, like, you're like... I mean, it's scary, because, yeah. like, people do 100% police bathrooms. I see so many roles, lesbian, whatever, and it's, like, not going to, like, masculine presenting women, bro, and it's irritating me. To celebrate Pride Month, this week we're joined by Kendall Landreth, known on TikTok for her quirky momfluencer character, Jen Ruggiarello, from The Kitchen and Jorn Show on YouTube, and TikTok LGBTQ plus speed dater coach, Jocelyn Morris. Today we'll be sitting down and addressing your assumptions about lesbians. Let's get into it. First one, and it's a big one, lesbians hate all men. Oh. Uh, She's right. No, I'm playing. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Like, if we're taking roles, it's like, you guys can be the ones that love men, and I'll be the lesbian that Perfect. hates men. If it's like, we're switching off. Listen, I don't hate men, but sometimes I'm like, why do they need me to say that to them so bad? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, is it, you get everything else, and it's so scary that the thought of me hating you? I think it's cap. I mean, I'm cool with all my homeboys. We're all good. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, the, the people that be complaining the most about men, I will always say this, is the straight women. It's really true. They hate y'all. Like, they, do, they, do, they, do they hate y'all. We we cool with y'all. We don't have to deal with y'all like that. They're the ones that are talking crap to me, crying. Oh, I was yeah. you. Da, 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 da. So. I will see so many TikTok <laughs> videos of women. They're like, my husband. Husband. This is a person they they vowed to spend the rest of their life yeah. with. They're like, well, my husband is a piece of garbage. This is public. This is public. Yeah. Their whole family. They could see this. My husband's a piece of garbage, and all I asked for him to do was the dishes today. And I was raising our three children, and. Oh, Couldn't yeah. even do that. I saw that. I'm like, oh, my God. I saw that. This is horrible. Yeah. So, yeah, honestly, to me, I feel like we're cool. I assume it may be hard for them to find another lesbian, and it could lead to them rethinking about being a lesbian at all. Oh. No. no. <laughs> I'm not rethinking nothing. I don't care. If I don't find nothing, I'm just chilling yeah, myself. Like, I'm, I'm not getting with no man. Oh, no, 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 no. no. no, no, no I no. feel like even when I was like, at the point in my life where I was like least in community with gay people, mm. um, which is probably when I was younger, it was like I still knew I was gay. Like it yeah, was like yeah. when there was like less lesbians around me, it was sort of just like it just made it clear how much I wanted more, like how much I wanted more <laughs> gay people in my life and to yeah. like have them actually be in my like actual daily lived experience. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's not hard to find another lesbian cuz we're we're here, we're present. We're rough. We're, we're thriving. Oh, going to three, four, but four. but like <laughs> I feel like it's hard cuz I feel like the LA, I mean I live in LA, yeah. we live yeah. in LA. The LA lesbian community <laughs> It's so small. Like, all I think about when I think of L.A. lesbians is, like, the L word where Alice was just drawing all the, like, lines to everybody and everyone's connected. And that's all I think about. So that's the only thing that, like, kind of, like, oh, my God, like, everyone's connected for real. Like, it's, like, I was the last girl on earth. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm lesbian, bro. Like, <laughs> I do I feel know. like in L.A. it's all connected. I haven't had that experience because I've been in, like, a long-term relationship since I've lived in L.A. But um, I went to, like, this slumber party one time with some for some other lesbians, and there's like eight of them, and they were like, well, we, they were like going around the circle being like, well, we've had sex, and we've had sex, and oh, yeah. they're like, well, we're dating right now, but we've all had sex, and I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, see, I, no, that's not, <laughs> you guys are mature because I, I would not yeah, be able to do this. That's, that's what I'm saying, like, I'm not like, no, like, that's not my vibe, because, you know, I'm in the streets right now. <laughs> I'm in the streets, so. You know, I'm so happy for y'all. Well, I don't know. Are you married too? I'm not married. I have a girlfriend, but I'm not. See, look, married. <laughs> married girlfriend. I'm in the streets, so I'm giving you the single lesbian perspective. Yeah. We outside, and it's it's crazy out here, bro. It's crazy yeah. out here, bro. Do lesbians ever have just one night stands, or do you always get close quick and start living together within the first few weeks? Yeah, we have one night stands. I never have though. I don't. I'm so bad. Have. I'm so uncool. Like I always wanted to be so cool. I was always like, I'm gonna go on this date and I'm gonna sleep with this person and I'm gonna be so cool and I'm gonna be like, I don't even care about this. And then it'd be like 3 a.m. and I'd be like looking them in the eyes and being like, what are we? And they would be like, get away from me. <laughs> and I was like, okay. It was so I can't do casual. I can't do it. Let's mean sex is okay. just like so intimate. So it's like I feel like it's yeah. so hard to have one night. Like I don't know. I can't. Like no. I feel like once like we do that, it's like. And plus, I'm a cancer too, like my oh. sign. So like You're emotional. Like, yeah, I love you. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I be yeah. like, 
My I'm social battery is so low, too, that I'm like, if I've gotten to the point where we're having sex, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go back and forth with small talk with anyone else sure. for two years. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, I I was like, okay, like, there's a period of my life when I was like, I'm just a happy slut with big dreams. I'm having, like, a great time. <laughs> so, like, I, I, like, I think, like, I totally get, like, I, and I don't think I'm really, like, a one-night stand person. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I definitely have lesbians in my life who yeah. are... And just they just do it like, you know, it's like sort of like not even that the people they're with want to be in relationships. It's just sort of like they're just casual f***ers and they're finding other (laughs) other casual f***ers. But I do think there is something to it that we we have a tendency to get more emotional and to get more attached a little bit closer. And like that I can't deny. Like that I don't think any of us would would, Yeah, no, we we are. We are for sure. Yeah. I can't cap on that for sure. (laughs) They frequently get asked how sex works. Oh my God, yes, bro. Yeah. They'd be so confused. Not anymore, but when I was going to like school in college, like every man was like, How do you have sex? How do you have someone? I was like, Go use the internet, Jesus Christ. They get so confused. Like they really do not know what's going on for real. Like I don't feel like explaining it like to them because it's kind of weird. Like I'm like, But I don't also, ask they you must what you know. know. Right. I mean, know what, know what bodies are and like, but what no do. shade, but lesbian is not what be going on. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Look, I, I, mean, I hope that if you're watching lesbian, do not take that shit serious. That is not what happens, bro. Because they're like, first of all, they're like, like what are you talking? I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I, I rarely. Like, There's so many types. There is, but like, it's not like the ones on like I don't know the sites or whatever. They're not. Yeah, which sites we talking about? <laughs> no, no, chill. See, I'm not, no, no. I'm just saying though, like, oh, from what I've seen. It's not real. Like, they're not for real. Yeah. Like, right, like, is- sex education, like, in general, right? It's, like, messed up. And yeah. then if you have kids that are looking at, right? Like, that's, they're just yeah. going to be confused. confused. They're not going to understand. Uh, like, if I was, and then they're going to see a lesbian like you, and they're like, how do you do this? Yeah, like, if I ever, like, if I wasn't, like, let's say I was just came out and I watched yeah. that, that, like, lesbian porn. <laughs> you come and be swing like, in. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, this is going to be crazy. Yeah. Like, what the f- like, what is going on? <laughs> That's like when I, when I that, it helped me when I was a teenager. I n- never watched, but I would read fan, like lesbian fan like fiction erotica. online. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I actually do think I learned a lot from yeah. that. I just watched like, I would watch like the L word or something, yeah. like the reruns. I'd be like, yes. Shane and, uh, what's her, what was her girlfriend's name? She Carmen. was so bad. Oh, <laughs> oh she's so <laughs> fine. I okay. didn't like the show though. I didn't like it. <laughs> no, she's so fine. But the, I would just like watch like, them kissing on YouTube, yeah. like that's what I would, you know. I'd be like, oh, okay, like I love this for me. Yeah. But yeah, everything. I don't know what they got going on. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, this you may have gotten more in your early coming out phase. Lesbians get lots of doubt in the form of everyone likes girls a little, or you just haven't met the right guy yet. Yeah. I mean, I wish everyone liked girls a little. Like it would have made a lot of like crushes I had when I was like fifteen easier. I met a lot of good guys. I I think that was when I really was like, oh, I'm gay. I remember I worked at a restaurant and I had a huge, I had a little bit of a crush on this guy. I was already out as a lesbian. And I was like, well, he's kind of nice. Okay, he's like, okay. I, well, he was, he was very, he's very, <laughs> he's like, a little feminine okay. in some ways. He was nice. And I was like, well, you know, I'm not going to stifle myself. Like, who's, who's, who whatever. doesn't love a nice twink? He's every and now that and then. was very much the vibe he was giving. I said, he was kind of nice. And, but then when it came to, you know, so I was like, I'll try it. Well, let's go to date. And I was like, oh, I cannot, I cannot do this. This is too, this feels really bad. And, and, and like, not bad, but it was a nice time. But I was like, I could not kiss you. I just couldn't do yeah. it. And I was yeah, like, this is like the ultimate gay. nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. And I was like, I still just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. And so I think I was like, well, I met, I met the, the right guy and it still is uh yeah. I'm still gay. I don't know. I've always just been cool with them, but I could never get to that like emotional like yeah. feeling. I don't know. Like, and it's like crazy because like it's not it's not a choice. Like, yeah. I literally cannot like yeah. you like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know because I remember yeah. like like I said in high school, middle school, like big old Johnson, who's your crush? And I'm like nobody. They're all weird as like not weird, but like I don't feel nothing. Like yeah. I feel nothing. Like I'm walking around feeling nothing. Like I yeah. don't know. So it's just I don't know. And then plus, like I said, I went. I did actually like go on a date with a guy mm. going into my college. So I was like, yeah, eight, I was 18 You're but going young. into college. Yeah, and <laughs> he like after the date, whatever, because you know free food. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. So I went, <laughs> and he had tried to kiss me. I kid you not. Like on 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 everything I love right now. I literally like when he tried to. I literally just automatically just went back in disgust, yeah. like and naturally, like I didn't even know he was gonna do it. Like he kind of was like, 
You know, yeah. I'm like, oh, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and he was like, oh, what's wrong? I was just like, in my head, I was like, oh, my God, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> like, <bad. laughs> like, no bi, no, no, you're gay. I was like, yeah, down bad. So I was like, okay. Um, I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm nervous. Yeah. Lying. I'm like, <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah, exactly. No. I'm gay. <laughs> we have an assumption from Tuesday with Jisoo. She says, your feelings on biphobia amongst lesbians. And she says, as a bi girl, I felt like a fetish for straight men and like lesbians struggle to trust me. Thoughts on that? I don't understand the biphobia. I feel yeah. like, again, I personally believe, like I said, sexuality isn't a choice. So if, you know, bro, if you like girls and guys, bro, like, what are we going to do? Like, I'm yeah. telling you, oh, like, I don't trust you because of your unchosen sexuality. Like, yeah. what? Like, so, I don't know. I've dated bi, I bi girls. I've talked to bi girls. Yeah. I have no issue. I think that the one, the thing that messes up the bi, the bi girls is people who are, like, experimenting start claiming that they're bi. Mm -hmm. So then those experimenters, instead of saying, yo, I'm just trying to see what's up or just Figure experimenting, out, yeah. they're like, oh, I'm bi. You're not bi, you're experimenting. And <laughs> I feel like if they were like honest with that, because yeah. now there's like the the people who are messing with those experimenters, yeah. they're like, oh, a bi girl broke my heart. No, Buki. Uh <laughs> a um an experimenter broke my heart, okay? Well, and, so, but I will say, because I've had some friends who are like, oh, I'm like, I want to try like dating a girl, but I'm like nervous. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be that. I want to be someone who's like yeah. going on dates, whatever. But I was like, you know, in a way though, that's what all dating is. Like, you go on a date and you're like, oh, I thought I liked you, and I don't, and so yeah. I'm never gonna talk to you again. So I'm like, if you just see it, which is obviously different if you're like, um, yeah, hooking up with a person over and over again, and then you're like, actually, I am not by. Although I'm like, if you're hooking up with someone over and over again. Maybe you're a you're, little You're a little bit fruity. <laughs> I don't know. There's something tutti fruity going on. But I feel like some people are just like, I don't know, like for the vibes. I don't know, like sure. trying to. And it's like, just be honest and say that. Because, girl, like. You're just wearing dark We can get it in. Like, but just yeah. say what's. Because it's like, like I said, again, we're, you know. So now, like, you've been messing with that person sure. and they're like in love with you. And mm -hmm. then you're like, oh my God, I actually don't like girls. What the f and they're like, what? So, yeah. like, it's so just really, like. So, really, if you're cool. experimenting, you can't. No date a cancer. Because they can't take it. They can't take it. How often do people ask lesbian couples who's the man in the relationship? People don't ask me anymore because I have short hair, so they just assume it's me. <laughs> he said I have my they're like, They're like, you're the man. You're a man for sure. So I don't really get asked that as much anymore. But I, I don't know. Like, it's People do ask that. I, think, well, I feel like it's usually like... People who are older, maybe like I feel like I've met like some dudes, like girlfriends, family members, mm -hmm. or just stuff like that, where it's like come up and it's more like I think they're trying to be curious. Yeah. Hopefully, I think I'm always bad because I'll be like me. Then I'm, like, yeah, I'm like, like not like you should ask that. I'm like I'm the man, <laughs> and it's like what are you doing, Kendall? You don't need to. Who are you trying to prove this to? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like maybe they're confused. Like if they're asking like. Are you who's more masculine? Like if right. they're trying to actually like ask questions about like masculinity and femininity, like gender portrayal, whatever. Like mm -hmm. those are conversations I'll entertain. I don't know. Like it's like if somebody's just trying to be a dick and they're like, <laughs> yeah. "Who's a man? Who's a man?" Yeah. Okay. Like, Sometimes I think too they're almost asking like, "Who plays what roles in your home?" Which also feels. I'm like, well, I, in my experience being in lesbian relationships, it's like everything is just like you start at square one, so it's like you don't assume any. I mean, I've never been in a straight relationship, but I assume even if you're both super feminists, there's just things that just fall into place. Like, well, I'm the woman, so I do this, and I'm the man, so I do this. Even yeah. if you both, it's just subconsciously, so it is nice being in a lesbian relationship where it's like, we both do a mix of all the things that traditional roles have put in these boxes. In the relationships I've had, yeah, there's no really, like, gender role. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like, we're just vibing, bro. Like, you know, somebody will wash the dishes one day, somebody cooks one day, somebody take out the trash one day. It's just like, we just yeah. chilling. Nobody, there's no expected nothing. Like, which is, I I think it's cool. You know, it's I nice. feel like it's, it's a nice, it's, we're just vibing. Because like, then you, know. you start doing the things you like to do. It's like, I yeah. there's some like household tasks. Yeah. For example, it's kind of mm. boring, but household tasks that like, I just naturally like to do. I'm like, oh, I'm fine doing that. And then there's some other ones that I'm like, I absolutely don't want to do that ever. And it's just yeah. nice to be able to split it up in that way rather than both of us being like, well, I got to do this because yeah. I just naturally should do this. I assume that lesbians really have to show that they are dating another girl because a lot of people will think they're friends, people will think they're sisters or roommates or something. I do. I get that all the time. Like, I feel like it is so crazy because my partner and I will be, like, out at a store. Like, this happened the other day. I, I'm paying on my card. We're, like, talking about laundry at home. We're, like, holding hands. And then the woman is like, 
oh, are you guys roommates? And we're like, what a weird, first of all, you don't have to ask. Why are you asking any questions about our relationship? But yeah. also it's so clear what our relationship is. Um, so I think that is interesting. I feel like that totally happens. I don't feel the need to prove it. To, I'm like, if if I'm walking on the street and someone thinks that I'm walking with my uh, sister and not my partner, that's okay. But it is interesting how yeah. people assume that. It doesn't bother me, but. People do assume, well, I don't know. It's like, I look so much like my sisters. So it's like, like, I don't know. I was like, I was like, I hope always, people always assume that I'm sisters with my sisters, you know? And then like people I'm dating, I'm like. Yeah, it's so different. Like, I would never confuse, like, somebody yeah. hanging out with their sister is like, oh, that's your girlfriend. Yeah. So it's like, usually right. if I'm, like, with my girlfriend, I hope it's f***ing clear that this is yeah. not somebody related to me. Because if there's any confusion there, it's like, well, that's a problem. That's mm, yeah. that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> if that f comes up. Yeah. There is an assumption that masked lesbians only date femme lesbians and vice versa. Can y'all get into that? No. I mean, we can. It's not, no, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> it's, not, it's not true. It's not true. I mean, I've I've seen all types of stuff, but that's not true. Like people date whoever. You know, we're all women at the end of the day. Me personally, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different story. <laughs> me personally, I I only really talk to like girls who are more feminine than yeah. me. I don't really like. Cause I, I like no shade. I, I just don't. I, I'm not gonna be sword fighting, bro. Like I, I just, I just. I'm sorry. Like no shade, no shade, no shade. Like I'm, I'm support. I support whatever sure. everyone does. But yeah, so I, but me personally, like I go for more feminine than me. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, that's not true though. There's people who date who masculine, and masculine date, for feminine, sure. feminine who date, and I support that, and I love everyone. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Compared to other LGBT people, lesbians get more of a sexual connotation when they're talked about because being a lesbian is more hot than gross. Yeah. For sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of, especially like in the media, a lot of like the les, like it's always, I feel like two femmes in a movie. Yeah. Like because they want to like, like want the, the male audience to be like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's like, I don't want to say trendy, but kind of like, oh, you know, you see the two straight girls kissing the club. Like you're like, Okay. Like, yeah. you know, when they yeah. see a stud, like a stud like me and another fam, they low key get like a little irritated. Or they They're get like, jealous. Um, why are you with her? You make them feel yeah. insecure. And I'm like, okay, nah, hold on, buddy. Like, I, I don't know why she, I don't know. Like, she's gay. I don't know. <laughs> As a lesbian, I've had people assume that I'm always in love with every straight girl around me or that I'm some sort of creep or predator. Yeah, you Whoa. Yeah, that's Whoa. <laughs> oh my like, God. That's like, damn, that's crazy. Oh that sucks. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, I feel like I felt when I was younger, I yeah. felt that feeling a lot. I don't know if really no people were actually feeling that way, but I think especially, you know, and this was even before people knew I was gay, but I just knew I was gay and I would be going to a sleepover and I was like, everyone here thinks I'm trying to look at them naked. It's like, no one's probably even thinking that. Um, so I think some of that came from inside. Um, and yeah. then, yeah, I, I definitely... You know, I'm sure there. I try to not surround myself with them, but I'm sure there's people out there who think that. But it's not a good group of people to be hanging out with. Yeah, I feel oh. like we all had our straight girl crush, you know. But we're not in love with every. Like, I feel like when you're younger, you have that little like straight girl sure. like little moment, and then you, as you get older, you get less and less to Lulu, uh -huh. and you'd be like, okay, yeah. yeah, like this is never gonna like be for real. Like you can't now. So like, because honestly, if someone says they're straight. I immediately shut down. Like, yeah, absolutely. Right. It's like I believe you. Yeah. I. I yes. I really do. Like, yeah. You're. You're good. Like, yes. Stay over there. Cause like, and even if they're like, oh, I'm straight, but you know, you're the only girl. No. <laughs> yeah. Stay. It's like stay straight, safe. Straight was the first word. Like, yeah. yeah I, I was like, I'm, right. even, I'm not even gonna play with myself like that. Yeah. So yeah. you go ahead and stay safe. Yeah. Go with Jimmy and John. <laughs> And I'm a, Jimmy yeah. yeah. So whoever, bro. <laughs> Peter. They want more good representation in shows. Me too. Yeah, we would love more representation. Bro, this is why I'm literally in acting right now. <laughs> You're going to make it happen. Literally yeah. have an audition after this. Pray for me. It is so frustrating. I see so many roles, lesbian, whatever, and it's like not going to like masculine presented women, bro. And it's irritating me. Like I said, they love the femme with femme, but like, or they like put like the straightest people, which is cool, like eat, but like the straightest people in lesbian roles. I'm like, oh my God, like. Bro, but it's starting to get more and more like, I feel like it's getting better, but it's like, we, we definitely need more. You feel me? Because like I said, I, I felt that because I remember I didn't get into acting or modeling for a long time because I really felt like there was no lane. Like yeah. I felt like, okay, like no shade, but like the random girl with white braids is going to bust through. Like, okay, it's me mm -hmm. for real. So, yeah. but after like sitting there and like, I was like, I was like, oh, I want someone to break through. I want someone, I was like, that I'm going to do it myself. So I literally from scratch 
girl, I was on casting networks myself, <laughs> submitting myself for everything. I eventually got signed, luckily, but yeah, I was busting out myself and yeah. figured out myself. But yeah, man, like if you're like in it, like do it, bro. Like go and go crazy. Like if you want to act, you want to do whatever. Who gives yeah. a fuck who's in there? You might be the one. So just do it. Like fuck it. yeah, like, for real. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really a big, a big person on that, bro. Like yeah, because there's just not big person on any. That, bro. Anything to watch. Even, like, I just watched Yellow Jackets. Fun show, yeah. And I was like, what? Tell me how. I'm rewatching this show about people eating each other in the snow uh, 60 times so that I can get a small glimpse of these two lesbians uh, making out with each other. I really need more. I need more show options. Yeah. I mean, if you do want a show to watch. <laughs> you got a show? LGBTQ speed dating with Justin Parks on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok, 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. I'm what telling you, that lesbians work really hard. It's like, yes. That's oh, my assumption is lesbians work so hard. Yeah. Right. I was like, we work so no. hard, and we're going to make more representation. No, yeah. Just give us time. It's, it's crazy because a lot of people who DM me and stuff about the show, about yeah. my show, tell me literally, like, Jocelyn, you're like the only thing. Like, I, they set their timers. They're at work with it, watching it, yeah. watching the car. Like, because literally... I'm not even joking. I'm probably one of the only shows right now that you could watch to have any type of lesbian anything right now. Yeah. I really don't know anything else. Yeah. Genuinely. Like, I'm thinking about it. What else is there to watch? <laughs> okay. I want to see if any of y'all can relate to this. Uh, since there's been a rise in policing bathrooms with all the anti-trans laws coming out, there's been a lot of butch lesbians coming out and saying that they've been harassed in the women's bathroom Bro. with people thinking that they are, like, a trans woman. Have any of y'all felt like you've been policed? Bro. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy because yes, bro, I I cannot tell you how many times I have I remember one time I was at a restaurant, bro, trying to walk walk into the bathroom yeah. to the to the women's one. All I hear is a security guard, hey, what are you doing? I was like, girl, what the <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I was like, what? And he, I turned around and he saw my face. He was like, oh my bad, bro. I thought I thought you were a guy. I was like, okay, well, okay, I'm not. But and then yeah, sometimes people I remember one time, a lot of times I'll be like washing my hands. Like people will walk in and see me and then like look at the door, like. Right. And I'm like, checking. okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that the only one was the security guy, but yeah, definitely I, I've gotten some like weird like vibes in the bathroom. But yeah. I mean, yeah, so that was kind of crazy. I mean, it's scary because yeah. like people do 100% police bathrooms. It's bad. It's like I, I so bad. have experienced it. I feel like it's probably like very different for, like, visibly trans people, for sure. But it's, like, there should just be more gender-neutral bathrooms available. We could eliminate yeah. this. Pro like, just make it clear that, like, you can go to the bathroom where you have to go to the bathroom, and then this wouldn't be an issue, I think. Okay, we're going to do a rapid-fire round. I'm going to do a bunch of quick ones, and people will answer 30 seconds for each. All lesbians like Mitski. Wait, what? What is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. She's a singer. I, I, I do. do like her, <laughs> I do. but not every lesbian. I don't, I, I don't, I, well, I don't dislike her. I I'll, 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 I'll send you some music. I'll okay, send you some yeah, songs. Let me know. She's great. Yeah. No shade. I don't know. No, <laughs> please don't come for me. They're going to be like, she didn't know who she is. I'm sorry. I don't know. We're going to have to have a support group after this. I know. Like, our groups are all for yeah. really <laughs> Mitski We're fans definitely. have come for us. It's like a little dirt type, so maybe it's because I just don't listen to that genre. Sure. Yeah. Please don't come for me. It's a very specific genre. You were like, oh, we're like, we love Mitski. I know. Jocelyn loves Mitski. Mitski, Mitski's Jocelyn's know. favorite artist. All lesbians love astrology. Yeah. I'm an Aries. Yeah. And you're, cool. ca you're cancer. I'm a cancer. I'm, I'm a Leo. Cancer. I, I'm, I'm cool with it for sure. I'm cool with it for sure. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not like, like super duper astrologist, like the stars and this is, you know, I don't know. But I think lesbians love to analyze their relationships and that feels like an easy way and yeah. an excuse yeah. to do it. It's fun. For sure. It's for just sure. a good time. Yeah, we want to know if we're compatible. And well, that's that. the thing. It's a really easy way when you're just meeting someone immediately to be like, are we compatible without being bizarre? Or, yeah. It's a and good it, icebreaker. Yeah. All lesbians own Subarus. Not oh. me. Uh, I have a Kia Optima. That's from 2012. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All lesbians have a Home Depot membership. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> I do. <knew. laughs> I'm Peyton. I'm Peyton. I'm in oh, my shit. house. I'm... Fixing my garbage disposal. Oh, damn. I didn't mind to call you for some shit, because <laughs> yeah, just... you, you handy for so. Mask lesbians seem to have a deep appreciation for 90s rap. Yes, probably. Yeah. I love 90s rap music. I, I like 80s, too. Oh, yeah. 80s and 90s. Yeah. Are you are you both millennials? I'm I think Z. I am. OK. Yeah, I was born 98. Yeah. Oh. Is that Gen Z? That's Gen Z. Yeah, oh. Gen Z. I'm 99. Gen Z. 
Just kidding. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, if you came a bit, you know. You said, like, well, we were all born in the 70s, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Lesbians have no idea if a man is attractive or not. That is not That's true. Not no. true. We, I thought we have better indication. I, yeah. And we I have better have indication, a, for sure. Channing Tatum really does it for me. Really? Really? That's, he that's, really does it right. That's awesome. That's great. Which is awesome. like, oh. <laughs> no, I mean, one guy that I was like, wow, he looks really good was Kelly Oubre. He's like an mm. NBA player. Mm. Oh, okay. Please put him up somewhere. Oh, he looks up. good. Bring he him looks, in. No, he, right. Bring he's him here too. Bring him <laughs> yes. No, he's he looks really good. Like, no, yeah. obviously I would never, like, don't want him, but like, yeah. All lesbians go back to their exes. No, I don't believe in that stuff. I don't like. Jocelyn has not moved. <laughs> I mean, okay, not all, but like, let's be so for real. Like, at, like a good majority, we do, we do you definitely. Do. No, <laughs> you be a good majority. No, okay, I that. have, I have, I have a couple yeah, times, maybe. Lie. But it makes sense in like a smaller community that I feel like people would yeah. be more inclined to like give their exes a chance, just because there's less people in general. Yeah, you're like out of options. You're like, well, I'm back at you. Let's yeah. try it again. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> circle. Back. Back to this. <laughs> they all want to call the U-Haul after one date. Okay, so U-Hauling is when lesbians get together and very quickly get either very serious or the joke is they move in together and that's why they call the U-Haul is so they can get all their stuff. I don't want a U-Haul, but I mean, I love you though. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like I'm not a U-Haul lesbian, but I am in love. I feel like I'm a U-Haul lesbian, like, okay, not, not on the inside. inside. Like, like, you not a U-Haul, but I fall fast on the inside, but on the outside, I'm like, I don't care. This That's how I feel. Like I'll know immediately on the first date because I don't personally like believe in like soulmates necessarily. I think I could. I think there's a lot of people that could, we could work be together. With, yeah. Whatever. So I think sometimes after a, a first date, I would be like, oh, I know I could be in a relationship with you, and we'd have like mm -hmm. a nice time. But I also think I used to be a lot more anxious. Where I'd want to like move in and be official and whatever. Yeah. And I think as I've done like more therapy, got a little more secure. <laughs> I feel like I could take things slower. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you sword, sword, sword fighting. You, well, so I'm sword, because yeah. I really do like sword fighting. Oh, okay. But like, go crazy. like the, the actual sport. the sport though. <laughs> I <laughs> like <laughs> the the Celtic festival. Yeah. Are we talking about fencing or no? No, no, no. no. I know what you mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, okay. It was so I can't do casual. I can't do it. I I feel like like lesbian like. Can I see sex? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know. 